Hello, everybody. So, got a couple requests for whispers. Uh, got a couple requests for reading. So, I'm gonna do both. <laughs> Star Wars, a pop-up guide to the galaxy. I got this book when I was like, I was a youngster, maybe like 12, 13, 14, and uh, found it in the closet. And uh, thought it'd make some really good noises and. It's really, really interesting, too. So, I, just a lot of time and effort went into the design of this. Um, but also, if y'all want me to do more, I also found this book. So, Star Wars Essential Guide to Characters. It has, like, every character that you could ever want to see. And um, if y'all like this, let me know if you want more. If this video reaches like 100 likes, I'll do the other one, but let's get into it. So, for our first excursion, we're at Hoth. After the victory of Yavin 4, Rabble Alliance Command carved our extensive secret headquarters named Echo Base. Ultimately, the Empire found it. All unstoppable ground force of Imperial Walkers known as AT ATs. Which are these guys? Crushed Alliance fortifications, despite the brave but futile defense by agile rebel snow speeders and powerful ion cannon. Rebel heroes, Princess Leia Organa, Han Solo, and Chewbacca barely escaped in the battered Millennium Falcon. Now, what's cool about this book is that not only do you have the pop-ups here, but there's pop-ups on every single page too. So, we have this first one. Galaxies flared to the existence born of fiery cosmic event lost in the veil of time. One group of galaxies there took a place of galactic civil war. And there we have Tatooine. The harsh desert stands of the planet Tatooine baked beneath the twin suns. Sandstorms ravaged by vicious Tusken Raiders. Only the most tenacious colonists survived, harvesting precious water with moisture vapor vaporators. Here on Tatooine, a native youth named Luke Skywalker gazed up at the stars from the moisture farm of his uncle Owen and Aunt Beru, ignorant of his future role in liberating the galaxy. Tatooine. Landscape of towering skyscrapers, Coruscant, Coruscant. The bustling city is populated by billions of citizens. Was home to the Republic Senate for generations until its abrupt dissolution by Emperor Palpatine. And there, of course, you have the Death Star. Codenamed the Death Star, a moon-sized battle station of unspeakable destructive power became the Emperor's ultimate symbol of dominance over the galaxy, developed in a secret facility within a cluster of black holes the Death Star boasted a deadly laser powerful enough to destroy an entire planet. Planet 
planetary system of Hoth, Anuat, and Bespin, or in the distant Outer Rim territories. And let's see what this one is. Oh, Cloud City. You remember that from the, um, the old movies with Lando Calrissian? A powerful anti-gravity repulsors buoy Cloud City within a habitable cloud layer near the giant gas planet of Bespin. And then you have on the side Dagobah, ancient Jedi Master Yoda built a modest but root, roots of a gnarled tree during his exile. Oh, a modest hut in the swamps of Dagobah, which is of course where Luke finds him. And it's home to a gas mining facility as well. Under the leadership of Baron Administrator Lando Calrissian, an elaborate trap set by said Lord Darth Vader for elusive rebel figures. Fugitives, I cannot read today, introduced an unwanted Imperial presence, and that's what I talked about. But, uh, he ended up being A-OK, -okay, that Lando, Billy D. Williams. Let's look at the second page. Specifically, Chewbacca. The Wookiees. These hulking, shaggy simians inhabit arboreal cities constructed in the massive chunks of rochier trees on their homeworld Kashyyyk. Skilled technicians and frightening warriors, the Wookiees are fiercely loyal companions, but their bad tempers can be trouble for anyone foolish enough to come across them. Famous for his exploits with the renowned smuggler Han Solo, the mighty Wookiee Chewbacca doubled as first mate aboard the Millennium Falcon and conscient to his credit hungry friend. Rodians. 
as you remember, Greedo, who shot first. Han, 100% shot first. Don't buy the remakes, kids. Han shot first. Twi'lex, the, uh... Oh, that's a nice one. Bib Fortuna. It's a second-in-command of Jabba, but most people know the Twi'lex because they are revered as being very attractive and uh, typically are adult entertainers. Or it can be. Not typically, but can be. And then, of course, the little Ewoks, which everyone remembers from the first films. Let's go to the other side. Xenobiology. Life takes hold, even in the harshest and most inhospitable environments. Xenobiologists study all forms of life throughout the galaxy and have documented trillions of organisms, plants, animals, and everything in between. Oh, wildlife on Hoth. And there you have Tauntauns, despite their unpleasant odor. These cantankerous horned bipeds provided rebel scouts with reliable fleet-footed transports outside of the Alliance headquarters. And then deep sea creatures. You have the Minoc, suction cup snouts, parasitic Minocs. And then more and Hoth Wildlife. I can imagine what this one's gonna be. Yes, the Wampa. The Wampa Predator savagely attacked Luke Skywalker and his Tauntaun. Like the Yeti, almost. Oh, now he's actually attacking this one too. But there's one more. The Bantha, the uh, woolly mammoth of the Star Wars community. Shaggy behemoths crowned with massive spiral horns. Banthas are standard mounts for the secretive and violent Tusken Raiders, known as Sand People on Tatooine. They're easily domesticated. And then you see the Sarlacc which is the pit that um, they try to execute Luke Skywalker in. And when I say they, I mean Jabba. But unfortunately, it didn't end very well for Jabba. Destroyer, and there you see it chasing. Oh, 
there you see a chasing Princess Leia. And then we got another one here. The X-Wing and the TIE Fighter. The TIE Fighter being Imperial, short range ship, and the X-Wing being the dual layer, four winged ship of the Rebel Alliance and Luke Skywalker was with an X-Wing that uh, blew up the Death Star. Solo, who grew up 
as an orphan on the criminal fringe of society. One of the best pilots around. our favorite bounty hunter, Boba Fett. Sheathed in a traditional Mandalorian armor laced with deadly weaponry, Boba Fett became the galaxy's most feared and successful bounty hunter. He was genetically cloned from Django. Boba was ruthless and resourceful, never failing to capture a target. Lando Calrissian. Let's see if it's him. Let me flip it over. Wow. Easier said than done. Yep, there he is. There's your boy. Lando Calrissian. Senator from Chandrilla 
was one of the original founders of the Alliance, inspiring rebel forces with her compassion. And there she is. Back when uh, Star Wars knew how to make good female characters. Can I get an amen? Alright. In a galaxy torn by war, even two droids can make a difference. During the perilous mission to find General Kenobi, the two droids commandeered an escape pod and delivered the secret plans to the Rebel Alliance. Blasted by stormtroopers, abducted by Jawas, and attacked by sand people, R2-D2 bravely rushed dome first into danger with CPO reluctantly by his side. And then there is pilot Neem Num from Solist. Princess Leia Organa. Look at that. You start closing it. She puts her hood on. You open it up. Boom! She rips it off. How cool is that? An outspoken leader and fighter. Um, Princess Leia Organa represented her home planet of Alderaan and the Imperial Senate. But her protests against injustice gained the Empire's attention. Like her foster father, Bale, Leia secretly aided in the Alliance with information and credits. Wedge Antilles. You remember Wedge Antilles. Luke Skywalker's friend. Cool. Really cool.
Lord Vader, fallen Jedi Anakin Skywalker, devoted himself to bringing order to the galaxy and became Sith Lord Darth Vader, hunting down Jedi outlaws and crushing rebel uprisings. After the destruction of the Death Star over Yavin's fourth moon, Palpatine charged his apprentice with finding the pilot responsible, the one who's so strong in the Force. Lord Vader's fleet combed the galaxy in search of Skywalker and soon on the gas planet Bespin caught up with a young Jedi in training. The Sith Lord revealed himself to be Luke's father. So cool. Acolytes of the dark side called the Sith embrace their passion and emotions which fuel their force powers. Though the dark side is an easy path, Jedi Masters warn that it leads to corruption, aggression, and destruction. Unnumbered and defeated by the Jedi a thousand years ago before the Empire, Darth Bane secretly hid his order. Only a master and an apprentice could exist at any time. It's called the Rule of Twos. Everyone's favorite Sith Lord, Palpy Boy, with his lightning. Palpatine learned of the existence of Darth Vader's son and sought to enlist him as Sith. Luke Skywalker refused his offer. The Empire responded with lethal bolts of force. Seeing his son dying, Vader cast his evil master into a deadly power core shaft. After the chaos of the Clone Wars, Supreme Chancellor Palpatine disbanded the Republic. Disfigured by alleged Jedi traitors, he covered his damaged features in dark hooded robes. And for anybody who thinks that Palpatine was not a total badass, go watch the Clone Wars. That man beat Darth Maul. Literally, he could have beat him with both arms and legs tied behind his back. Forced him into exile on Dagobah, 
there, Yoda waited for a new hope, a rash adventurer named Skywalker, to seek his wisdom and free the galaxy of the Empire's tyranny.